What's up YouTube? It's Nojitsu here, back with another video. And today, we have episode one of the new series on the channel that we had the trailer for the other day, Baseball for Your Country. This is gonna be a crazy series with tons of countries, 16 to be exact. It's gonna be like a group stage tournament. It's gonna be wild. And I just wanna start off by saying, drop a like on the vid. It helps more people see the series, get more people involved. Subscribe if you are new, and I'll have the link to my Discord server in the uh, description, and there might be something where you can maybe get on one of the teams if you're in there. But let's let's get right into this, revealing the teams. We're going to start it off revealing Group A, which starts off with the USA, and I wanted to do these rosters realistically in the fact that like some guys don't play for the national team. In the past, they've shown that they won't, so this is why the USA team might not have Mike Trout, Cody Bellinger, and some of those guys, maybe, that you're thinking would be on here on the normal team. But let's go ahead and go through the, the team. You got your starters are Lance Lynn, Sonny Gray, Marcus Stroman, Danny Duffy, and Randy Dobnap. Your relievers, you got Devin Williams, Andrew Miller, Tyler Rogers. Um, they call him up for some reason. I gotta get the roster set fully. But yeah, Kirby Yates, Mark Melance, and Brad Hand. Your catcher, Duster Posey, or Buster, I said Duster. Buster Posey, Danny Jansen. First base, you got Paul Goldsmith, Eric Hosmer. Second base, Jake Cronenworth. Third base, Nolan Arenado. Shortstop, Trey Turner. Isaiah Connor for left up, Brandon Crawford. I gotta call up Dansby, send down one of those pitchers. Left field, you got John Carlos Stanton and Christian Yellett going to be big for them. Um, they don't have a center fielder. And you got Mookie Betts and Wright. So, and Kirloff as well. Alright, so yeah, that's the that's the USA team. I think it's a very, very strong team. And this team is going to be very, very good in this tournament. The next team we have in Group A is Canada. So we're going to get USA Canada in Group A. It's going to be fun. But this team, I say, is a pretty solid team. You got Mike Soroka, James Paxton, Nick Pavetta in the rotation. Whooping, you got Cal Contrell. And I want to go ahead and say that to fill out the rosters for maybe not enough players or stuff like that for a country, it'll be 64 and below just random players. So if you're wondering why there's someone from a different nation there, it's because they're lower overall and those will be the filler players. The, be the country's players should be the best or mostly the best players on every team. Just want to get out of the way. Jordan Romano. Uh, they don't have a catcher. At first base, you got Vladdy, Freddie Freeman, Joey Votto, and Josh Naylor. So, Vladdy, I know some might be like he's Dominican, but he was born in Canada because his dad was playing for Montreal when he was born. So, we're going to put him on the Canadian team for this. You could do whatever you want if you ever did this. Got Abraham Toro. Tyler O'Neill. Yeah, so that's the Canadian team. I think they should be very good. Yeah, I think Na I think Canada is going to be a dark horse in this tournament. Next up in Group A, you've got Colombia, and they're I'd say the weakest team in this group. You have you have a few good players in the rotation. Let's just go through the MLB roster. You got Gio Urshela. He's going to be the biggest piece on this team. They're going to need him to have a huge, huge tournament. you got Donovan Solano, a good contact hitter. Oscar Mercado, Jose Quintana, Harold Ramirez, Julio Terran, Luis Patino. He's not. And then the rest are fillers, mostly. There's a few sprinkled in that are just super low overall. But you put that's the Colombian team. I think they're the weakest in this group. But they might be able to sneak out a game. Lastly, in Group A, we have USA 2. Now, I just, there weren't enough nations, because I, and I want to say that I had to combine some nations together so that I could even fill out some of these rosters with enough players to even be reasonable, but I thought this was an easy one to make. It's pretty much prospects, some of the USA Olympic team, and then some other players sprinkled in, but here is the USA 2 team. And y'all can see their every team's home jerseys, for the most part, up in the top left. You've got Nick Ahmed, Todd Frazier, Homer Bailey, Joey Bart, Brendan McKay, Kevin Pillar, 
Jemai Jones, Roman Quinn, Aaron Sledgers, Jordan Yamamoto, Derek Dietrich, Stephen Duggar, Matt Kemp, Matt Moore, Hector Neris, Bryson Stott, Miguel Castro, Brandon Drury, Aaron Loop. Yeah, y'all can see the rest here. So that is the USA 2 team. I think they should be pretty good. I don't know if they're better in Canada. They're definitely not better in USA. But they're a solid team that I think could beat Colombia. Alright, so next up we have Group B. We'll start off Group B with the big dogs, Dominican Republic. They are going to be definitely one of the best teams in this tournament. You've got Freddy Peralta as your pitcher, Sandy Alcantara, Fran Valdez, Gianni Cueto, and Luis Castillo along with Frankie Montas. That's going to be amazing for them. In the bullpen, Denilson Lamette, Alex Colome. He should be sent down. Same with him. Same with him. Okay. Yeah, but that's their team. There probably will be a couple more players added. Diego Castillo, Yumi Garcia. You also have Colasse and Alex Reyes in the bullpen. Behind the plate, you have Gary Sanchez, Yerma Mercedes, and that's really good catchers. Carlos Santana at first base. I don't know who that is. Third base, Manny Machado, Jose Ramirez, Rafael Devers. Shortstop, you got Fernando Tatis and Wander Franco. Left field, you have Juan Soto. Center field, Starling Marte, Catel Marte, and Victor Robles. And right field, you have Nelson Cruz. So that is the Dominican team. They're going to be a force to be reckoned with in this tournament. And they got some clean away jerseys that I may, might be able to show at the end of this episode. Next up in Group B, we have Mexico. I think they're another team that's going to be very good in this tournament. We can go through the roster here. You got Julio Urias. They're going to be very pitcher heavy. Giovanni Gallegos, Roberto Osuna, Alex Verdugo, Joaquim Soria, Oliver Perez, Jose Urquidy, Victor Arana. And they have a couple players in Verdugo and Chris Davis who aren't born in Mexico, but they have Mexico heritage and they, will, they would play for the Mexican team. Victor Arana, Chris Davis, you got Ramon Urias and Luis Urias. Alexander, Alexandro, Kirk, Sergio Romo, Luis Sessa, Andres Munoz, Esteban Querez, Isaac Paredes, Luis Gonzalez, AJ Ramos. The rest are kind of filler players. But yeah, I think Mexico is going to be a very good team, but they have a very tough group. Next up, we have another very good team. No pitching whatsoever, but they have a lineup that can win them some games. You have the Netherlands. This is anyone from Netherlands, Curacao, Aruba, so they have a lot of that good baseball talent. But they're mostly shortstop or second baseman, so I had to move some guys around first, third, and maybe even to the outfield. So let's go through this. you got Xander Bogarts. He's going to be playing first for them, but very good bat. Ozzy Abbies, Kenley Jansen, the only good pitcher they have, maybe the only pitcher who is from there. Jonathan Scope, Andrelton Simmons, Didi Gregorius. you got Chadwick Trump. Trump, who is a catching prospect for the Giants in real life. Jerks and Profar, certain Apostle. And the rest are filled out with just filler players who aren't very good. But yeah, I think Netherlands is going to be another very good team in this tournament. Next up, the last team to show in Group B is Australia and Europe. So, there were it's not all of Europe. The, the European nations that will be, this is a little bit of a spoiler, that will be on their own, is Italy. I think that's the only one. And Netherlands. Italy and Netherlands are the only European nations that will be on their own, but there's just not enough players from Australia or the, these European nations, so I had to just combine them all together. It's the only Australian is Liam Hendricks. And then their two best players, they, their away jersey is an Australian jersey. Their home jersey is a German jersey because they're two best players. But here are players who are from there, so they're just from a European, from a European nation. You have Liam Hendricks, the best player, of course, since they get Australian players. Max Kepler, he's German, so that's one of two of them. He's come from the Eric Sogar. I somehow found out that he has something in him where he could play for 
one European nation. Luis Gamor, he is Spanish. Christian Robertson, he's British. Schwarzak, he is one of the, like Czech or something. Then you got some filler mixed in with some, he's British. Mixed in with some more players. There's a lot of filler players on this team. They're not going to be very good. I don't see them winning a game when they're going to have to go up against one game against Dominican Republic, Mexico, and Netherlands, but we'll see. Now we are on to Group C, and this starts off with another heavy favorite in this tournament, Venezuela. You've got Ronald Acuna Jr., of course, Jose Altuve, Will Wilson Contreras, Salvador Perez, Eduardo Escobar, Pablo Lopez, Jesus Aguilar, Jose Alvarado, Miguel Rojas, David Peralta, Eduardo Rodriguez, Yusmara Petit, Eugenio Suarez, Albert Alzadlai, and Anthony Santander, Miguel Cabrera, Aaron Marquez, Luis Garcia, Gleyber Torres, Bruce Argradero, Luis Avion, William Contreras, Darwin Azon Hernandez, Pablo Sandoval, Jose Alvarado, and a filler who shouldn't be up here. But yeah, I think this team is another one that's going to be very good in this tournament. I could see some them making some noise, definitely. Next up in Group C, we have Puerto Rico, who are another very good team. Now, they have definitely fallen off some since the last time they played in any kind of national competition. But you've got Yadier Molina, Javier Baez, Carlos Correa, Jose Barrios, Edwin Diaz, Kike Hernandez, Francisco Lindor, Martin Maldonado, Victor Caratini, Willie Castro, Thomas Nito, Alex Claudio. They don't have much pitching. They're not as good as they used to be, but I still think they're going to be a very good team in this tournament. Next up, I know we've said this a lot, but this is Pi. This is the real one. I think this is Italy, and I think they're definitely going to be a huge dark horse in this tournament. Maybe to make a deep run in towards the finals, even. I don't know. I just see something with this team. You got Michael. You, most of these guys are uh, Americans of Italian descent. And yeah, you got Michael Conforto. Mike Zunino, Anthony Rizzo, who's the face of the team, him and Conforto, Adam Adovino, Tommy La Stella, Tim LaCastro, Brandon Nimmo, Matt Andres. Yeah, it doesn't look amazing. You have a couple more guys down here along with the fillers, but I don't know. I could just see them with this lineup, the middle of the order, making some noise. So that's the Italian team. Lastly, for Group C, we have Panama. And I believe they are, if not the worst, one of the worst teams by rating in this whole entire thing. They have Panama and Honduras. That's the combo here, but it's only one Honduras player. It's Dubon. But you have Mauricio Dubon, Johan Camargo, Jaime Barilla, Paolo Espino, Jonathan Larraz, and Mundo Sosa. A fill, uh, is he a filler? Yeah, he's a filler. Daniel Espino, so you get the brothers there. Ariel Girardi and a bunch of fillers. I don't see them winning a game in their group, but <laughs> maybe there's some hope. Maybe there's some hope. Now on to the final group, Group D, and this starts off with Japan, who I thought they were better in this. I know that if I took the time to make all their players from their other country, they would be better in this, but this is mainly MLB guys, so you got Yu Darvish, their pitching is going to be elite. Yu Darvish, Shohei who's going to pitch and hit for them, Kenta Maeda, Yusei Kokuchi, and Kohei Arihara. You're not lacking anything on the mound. You could beat anyone with that pitching staff. This is where you drop off. Shogo Akiyama, and he's in the bullpen pitching, and then Yoshi Sutsuga. So that's the Japanese team. Maybe they can make some noise. I don't know. Next up in Group D, you have Cuba, another very good team. This team is loaded in their lineup. They also have a very good bullpen. No starting pitching, but I think a lot of the bullpen could carry them. You got Yasmani Grandal, Yuli Gurriel, Aroldis Chapman, Jordan Alvarez, Randy Arozarena, Jose Abreu, Lourdes Gurriel. Rysel Iglesias, Yoan Moicada, Luis Robert, Adolis Garcia, Jose Iglesias, you see? Aled Miss Diaz, Gilmar Heredia, Jorge Soler. I think this team is going to be very, very good. So that's the Cuban team. 
Next up, you have another lower end team in this, South Korea. Hyun, they're gonna, again, they're gonna have two good pitchers. They could win games with that, but the lineup's weak. You got Hyunjin Ryu, Kwangyun Kim. You got Ha Sung Kim, G Man Choi, and Rob Refstein. That's it. The rest are fillers. The rest of this team is all fillers. You got wait, you got a couple like 50s mixed in here, but nothing much. Maybe they could. I uh, again, that's another team. I don't know. They might win a game just because of the other team in the skirt. And that other team is Bahamas. I don't know if they've ever played a game in any kind of national, the other in qualifiers, any big national, so this would be a big moment for them. It's a combination of, because there's not enough players who play in the Bahamas, it's only Jazz Chisholm, Bahamas, Nicaragua, and Peru. But, of course, the staple of the team in why they're Bahamas is Jazz Chisholm. Jazz Chisholm's definitely, if not my favorite MLB player, one of my favorite MLB players. He's just amazing, super underrated. If y'all haven't seen Jazz Chisholm highlights, go check them out. But they got Jazz Chisholm, Jesus Rosardo. That's their two best players, and those are he's from Bahamas, Peru. The rest of the guys are from Nicaragua, I believe. You got Lozaga, Cuthbert, Paredes. No, he's not. He's not. He's a filler. Blandino. A lot of fillers on this team, but that South Korea versus Bahamas game might actually be very good with the pit. They South Korea might need to just put it on to trying to beat them. But yeah, that is every single team in here. Let's go back through it again. You got USA, Canada, Colombia, USA 2, Dominican Republic, Mexico, Netherlands, Australia, and Europe, Venezuela, Puerto Rico, Italy, and Panama, and Japan, Cuba, South Korea, and Bahamas. Those are your teams. Those are your groups. Now let's go check out the uniforms. All right, so there's no way I can take you through the jerseys right now, so we're just going to have to do that on game time. But now just going to go through the game, go through how it's all set up, how the tournament's going to work, and how the episodes are going to work. So we're going to start with how the tournament is. It's a four groups set up. The top two out of each group make it through. That's eight teams. And then I just wanted to get a couple more teams in just in case there's a m maybe lots out of group. So two third place teams get in. So the one through six would get a bye. Seven plays ten. Eight plays nine. The winner of those games, of course, play the one or the two. And that's how it's going to work. And then three versus six, four versus five play. And yeah. Also, how the videos are going to work. There's going to be a. I'm going to have y'all guys decide down below if y'all would want just one review per group or a prime time stream of one of the best games per the in the groups. And then and then a. And then a recap video for each group. Then we move on to the bracket and go like that. That's the plan for other videos. So the first episode will probably be a prime time game or a prime time stream. I haven't decided which one it would, what type it would be. Y'all guys let me know if y'all want it to be a prime time just video of the game or a prime time stream of the game. And yeah, that's how it's going to be set up. I would love, again, for y'all guys to leave your predictions down below, who you think the dark horses are, who you think's the, who's your pick, maybe, and join my Discord server, because I'll tell it here at the end, there's going to be certain teams, not every team, but certain teams, you'll have a chance, if you're kind of first come, first serve, to make a player and be on that team as a 70 or 75 overall, 75 probably, to help out the team. So, yeah. Do all that. Get involved in the comments. Help. Let's drop a like to help get this thing going. Subscribe if you're new. And I can't wait to get this thing going. See y'all guys. Peace out.